Assalamu alaikum and very good morning. Today in the grade 6 subject science we are going to continue the lesson what we are studying from the chapter 5 that is changes over time and the lesson 5 that is changes in geology over time. In this lesson we are going to start from the page 303. So let's open the page 303 and we are going to see in the today's lesson some objectives that what we are going to study today. So how the earth was that is earth long ago then we are going to see in this we, uh, about the Precambrian then Paleozoic era, Mesozoic era and Cenozoic era these different kinds of eras we are going to discuss in the today's lesson. We have already seen about the eras that is the earth history is measured in long stretches of time called eras and also with this we have already studied about the periods. Periods are the shorter amount of time and are associated with the major changes in earth's crust. So now let's talk about the different kind of things that is about the Precambrian. So what the Precambrian? It's the Precambrian if you look at this picture that is the picture for the Precambrian here and here we are talking about the Precambrian the time period called the Precambrian where it begins with the earth's formation and lasted for almost 4 billion years and during this time the earliest life forms developed in the seas. Multicellular marine organisms developed at the end of the Precambrian and the few fossils from organisms of this time period have been found. So this is the time period which was about almost 4 billion years and this is about the Precambrian. Now let's talk about the different eras. So the first is about the Paleozoic era. What the Paleozoic era is? Now this is these are the pictures which we are looking here about the Paleozoic era and this is the early life of the era. We call it as the Paleozoic era. The Paleozoic era is the early life, uh, life of the era and it began about 600 million years ago. <coughs> life became abundant in the seas and on the land. The examples of this is the insects, amphibians, trilobite, fish and reptiles which appeared during this time of the era. And the first forest also developed at in this time and many living things became instinct at the end of the Paleozoic era. So here you are looking about the different kinds of the amphibians, the fishes and the reptiles that the things which we are looking here that is the reptiles, amphibians, jawfish and jawless fish also the invertebrates. So these are all included these were appearing in the time of Paleozoic era. The next era that is we are talking about that is Mesozoic era which is the middle life era. So the second is about Mesozoic era which is also called as the middle life era and it indicate the appearance of dinosaur. So look here look at this picture it, it gives the appearance of the dinosaurs, mammals, birds and flowering plants. The supercontinent Pangaea began to break up during this era and the sea levels rose and climate became milder. Rock from the end of the Mesozoic era suggest that many forms of the life became extinct at the end of the this era. So this is all about the era which is the second and the middle life we can call it as middle life era. The third that is about the Cenozoic era which we are in that era now and this is the Cenozoic era we are talking about the third that is the Cenozoic era. So here we are going to talk about the Cenozoic era which is the recent life era and this era is the era in which we are there. So in this era mammals have dominated fossils show that some early mammals were very large several ice ages <coughs> have occurred in this era and after this after the most recent the 
Pleistocene, that is the ice age, the Great Lakes were formed in this era. So here, the early mammals, what we see here in this picture is the picture for the early mammals, then the monkey and apes and the modern mammals. So this is about the present era, that is what we are in. So this is about the Cenozoic era. Cenozoic era is the uh, third era that we are talking about. So with this all, we are going to uh, end up the today's uh, lesson and I will be back with the new video for the further part of the lesson and till then you uh, learn these things and uh, thank you for watching this and with this thank you and goodbye.